Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekly Circle of Life tarot reading. So, Pisces, this is a reading to help you stay in alignment with your wishes and your dreams, right? You want to manifest your wishes. You want to manifest all of your dreams, but we must stay in alignment, right? So every week is something different. We face different challenges. What we think about, we bring about, right? So our thoughts change from day to day. What challenges are coming for you for the week? Uh, within our body, are we headed in the direction? What actions are we taking, right? Uh, what are we doing with our body? Is it staying healthy so that you can have a clear mind, right? And your spirit. What are you feeling? What are you connecting with? Are you connecting with that dream so that you can actually express it out into the universe and be the dream so that it comes back to you, okay? So, Pisces, let's see what's going on. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a reading, link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. So for your body, Pisces, you have the three of pentacles. You have the Temperance card. You have the Ace of Swords, and you have the Nine of Swords. All right, I feel like you need to be out in the air. The swords are sticking out to me, okay? I feel like you're gonna, going to have the most growth if you're out in the air that's the element that i feel that is going to serve you best this is going to bring you balance this is going to bring you clarity okay clarity of mind so i think whatever you want to build as in you know your body if you want to body build right if you want to build muscle do this outdoors and do things where you can feel the wind like run on the beach or run outside right because it's that wind element i want you in you know even the angel here in temperance right has wings and what does the angel do but fly even though her foot is in water angels fly so Feeling that wind, right, on your body is going to, it's going to serve you, all right? I feel like it's going to help with your anxiety and fear. It's going to calm your soul, especially with temperance here. It's going to balance you out. And just being on the earth, I feel, is going to ground you. Okay, what are you worried about? Let's see. Ten of Cups. Wow, the Nine of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. Okay, so you're seeking a state of peace within your body. You're seeking this emotional fulfillment, right? You feel, I feel like, okay, you feel feel independent, you feel autonomous, you feel abundant, you feel confident, you feel the growth within you, but you know there's more. That's what I'm feeling. And especially with the Ten of Cups. So whatever it is that you want to manifest, and part of this is, it could be work with the Three of Pentacles, but I'm really getting peace, a state of peace within. Very similar to um, Aquarius had sort of a peace vibe okay but when you're out say you're I'm just giving you an example right because you could bike ride too say you're running and you're feeling the wind I want you to focus on whatever it is you want to manifest and feel whatever it is you want to manifest while you're doing the action and then during the week, I also want you to think about what actions you're taking towards your manifestations. 
Like, what have you done today that's going to get you one step closer or one tiny step closer to your dreams and your wishes? It doesn't matter if you're doing it for five minutes, right? A day. It's something. It's something. All right. Let me get one more. Six of Swords. Yeah, the Four of Wands. So stability, right? Commitment. I feel like you're committed to having this peaceful vibe within your vessel. You're committed to finding emotional fulfillment, right? And where, you know, the emotions are within you. But I feel like connecting with your emotions and connecting with movement is really going to help ground you and I want you to feel the wind while you're feeling this I feel like that's very important mature woman bad health and house wow and thief jeez despair Okay, so this anxiety and this fear may be coming from somebody that you know. It could be a family member that isn't feeling too well. Okay? And I feel like it's it's taking, it's like, it's taking, I don't, your life force? It's taking energy, okay? And it's got you down. In this case, it's got you anxious and fearful. Okay? So, getting to a state of balance, okay, and stability, and this is what I'm feeling with the house, within you, is going to help this person that may not be feeling well. Because if you look at the person and you get into the same state of mind that they're in, right, or people around them, Right, like, oh my God, they're they're sick, they have this, you know, and you can propagate that energy instead of doing that, look at them and see them as healthy, see them as vibrant. Now, when you're in a balanced state, you can do that more easily. And this is what I want you to do. So see them with vitality, feel them with vitality, feel their life force, and you're gonna get it back. Okay, all right, so within your mind, you have the Prince of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Swords, you have the Prince of Wands, and you have the Two of Swords. Okay, so there's a feeling of, of being stuck. Maybe it's a decision that you need to make, right? Um, as to which direction you're going in. I feel like there could be a new beginning that you have because of an ending. And you're taking your time making certain decisions, okay? This could be decisions about things that you're passionate about. Uh, this could be decisions about love. Let's see. King of Pentacles. Whoops. The Magician. A lot of, I was going to say, a lot of air energy. <laughs> All right. And the lovers. Okay, so you could have a choice between lovers, right? You could, we have Taurus here, we have Gemini here. Gemini is pretty strong, okay? Wait a minute. So it's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place here, Pisces. The Queen of Swords is clarifying the King of Pentacles. The Four of Cups, oops. And the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this could be an emperor or an empress, okay? 
And I say that because you've got the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Sun, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so there is balance that you're seeking within your heart space and you can't find it. Or you're, you're trying to understand the decisions that you need to make to get one step closer to it. And it may be you need to choose somebody in love. Maybe you've got two people right now. Or maybe you will in the near future. Right? Let's get some on the magician. Magician. We have the chariot. We have the ten of wands. And we have the fool. All right? So, yeah, there's a leap of faith that you want to take. Definitely. Okay, somebody could be at a distance, but you're wondering what tools that you need to manifest your dream in love. What about the lovers? Three of wands, nine of cups, somebody's definitely at a distance, and prince of swords. So there is a wish that you want to fulfill. And I feel like you need to unblock your heart chakra and listen to your intuition. Oh, let me get, let me get marriage at the bottom of the deck here. All right, we have main male, distant horizons, and lovers. You definitely have lovers on your mind. You definitely, you could have travel on your mind as well, but I feel like what you have on your mind is taking action towards love, but you feel stuck. And the movement within your body, okay, I feel like is going to clear your mind as well as your heart, especially if it's fast movement uh, with, like if you think of bicycling, right? It's fast, move, it's cardio. So anything that is cardio is going to get your heart pumping. And I feel like it's going to release that stuck energy, okay? It's going to shake things up, and this is going to help your mind, okay? All right, so within your spirit, you have the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, And the two of wands. Okay, let's see what's. Hmm. There's something blocking energy from coming in. Okay, it could be you in this decision. You know, once you align with this decision in love, it may align you. It may break this, I don't know, this wall. I do feel that you will start, you know, you're going to start to connect with um, your spirit. I feel like you do anyway, right? But you're going to start planting seeds here within yourself. You want to build off of those. Why is this block here? Something's trying to come through, and I'm trying to um, set in stone. Nothing is set in stone. Whoops. All right. So we have Princess of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Princess of Swords. Okay. I got to tell you, the last couple of weeks with the Princess of Swords, I've been getting when, when you play with fire, you get burned. And for me, it's saying if you don't listen to your intuition, you're going to get burned somehow. And it may be within an opportunity. What's trying to come through? The King of Cups. A water, a water sign, emperor. 
Okay. I don't know if this is a father, a grandfather trying to come through. Okay. But there's some sort of block that you have that they can't get past. All right. So I feel like you could connect with somebody um, in your family from the other side here. Okay. But you know, nine of wands is the wounded warrior. It is Sagittarius energy. So it's like you're not giving up, but you're tired. You need your vitality back, and that's going to come from your body. And that's going to come from you looking at this individual who may be not feeling well and sick and seeing their health, seeing them in their glory, in their happiness, in their, you know, seeing their life force. Okay, that's going to help you in spirit over here. And it's going to help you break this wall. You're going to loosen up. Tell me about the nine of uh, wands. Give me um, advice on how to break the nine of wands. Joy. Three of cups. Do things that are joyful. Think when you're meditating, okay, Think about the joyful things that you want to manifest. Or just think about joyful things. It doesn't even have to be something you want to manifest. Just think about joyful things. And this is going to break this wall. And somebody is going to come through. And it could be a water sign here. That's an emperor. Yeah, ten of pentacles. So there's going to be an abundance. And I want to say, Pisces, there could even be an abundance of spirits that start coming through once you break this wall. So I hope you're ready. Because Ten of Pentacles is abundance, right? I feel like... Um, this is meant for you. Something needs to come through. Oh, here we go. Five of Wands. So when this comes through, you may struggle with what to do with it, especially if it's uh, more than one person. Okay? It could be that there's five people, five spirits that are going to be competing for your attention. All right? But in any case, Pisces, you're going to connect with your spirit. You find, once you find that joy, it's going to help you break this wall. Once you break this wall, it's going to help the anxiety and fear for sure. And seeing the good in this sick person is going to help your spirit. Okay? And breaking this wall is also going to help clear your heart chakra. The cardio is going to help with the heart chakra, which is going to help with the mind and the decision that you need to make. So align yourself with this decision. Okay. I feel like there's multiple things you want to manifest, right? And if they're in the same line, just line up. If they're not, then do one at a time, right? This decision in love. Okay, how do I line up with that decision? Do that. So we have poverty. We have coffin. And we have expectation. Were you expecting this to happen? Were you expecting somebody from the other side, wealthy men, it could be a wealthy man. This could be you or them to come through. Because I get the feeling, yeah, you're going to be raising your vibration. I get the feeling that you've been waiting for this. Like you knew it was coming and it's going to come. Sudden wealth. All right. So we're going to get a crystal for you, Pisces, to see... What crystal will serve you best regarding uh, this reading? Okay. All right. Herkimer Diamond. Oneness. Oneness. 
Also a twin flame stone. Okay? This is great for dreams. All right? And it is a stone that will magnify other crystals around it. All right? So, for instance, if you want to protect yourself and you get some black tourmaline, have a Herkimer with it, it's going to amplify that. All right? But very powerful stone. This will help you definitely with connecting with spirit or spirits. Definitely. Okay. Um, so good luck, Pisces. I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on that link as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. And don't forget all my readings must go through Etsy. All of them uh, transactions go through Etsy. Etsy, you'll also get a message from me stating the turnaround time. And when your reading is complete, Pisces, you will get an unlisted link that will come back here to this YouTube channel, the only medium that you can watch your video on. Okay? So you have a fantastic week, Pisces, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot. Namaste.